you know, I've become pretty public uh, in all of this space. And I've got a very clear idea of what, where I think it's going and how it's going to go. So I have my thesis. And when everything starts falling apart, like the market starts moving, A, I look like, how has it moved in the past? It's done similar things, right? And I've been telling everybody who's ever got into the space, you need to expect a 50% correction in a bull market, and you might see a 70% bear market, and over five years, you'll have still made more money than you can imagine. So you have to accept those things. So this thing starts tanking, Bitcoin starts first, then, then Ethereum rolls over later, and, it also, and it's all down 50%. And I said, I've got this weight on my shoulders. I've got all of these people that have been following me. I have been telling them this, but you know, it's messes with your mind. And I pick out the one chart that matters to me, which is the adoption chart. Is anything that's going on with China and mining and this and that changing the adoption curve or not? No. So then, as you said, the relentless rise of technology continues. So la la la, I can't hear it. So I turn around to my wife and I'm like, you know, you know, it's fallen 50%, everybody's freaking out. And she just looked at me and goes, you are all so ridiculous. She said, you said you should expect this. Now it's happening, everybody's freaking out. And she just walked off and said, don't be, she just said, don't be stupid and walked out of the room. Just, you know, Twitter is somewhere sometimes, or Reddit or whatever, whatever forum you're on, sometimes you're enemy. Um, and sometimes you just need to turn that off. But the reason Bezos is so wealthy because he was probably one of the only people in the world who had Amazon shares from the beginning and never sold them. Because it went down 95%. Oh! In 2001, too. It's had several 60% falls. And it still made him the richest man in the world. This is what exponentiality looks like. And for people who are a little more savvy, there's a magic trick to everything to keep your sanity in this, because this stuff goes like this, and then it does this, and is, you'll see there's like free, free charting almost on every platform now, trading view, something like that. Just change the scale to a log scale, logarithmic scale. And what you'll find is like, you look at Facebook, it goes like this. Amazon goes like this, right? And it always feels like, I can't buy this, this has gone up too much. You know, that, that, that fear that you had at 52,000, right? That's real. You change it to a log chart, and it's a beautiful trend. And you realize it's all noise. And yes, those movements can be 50%, 60%, but it's just moving in that lovely little trend. Facebook has done that since 2012, never deviated. Nor has Apple, nor has Microsoft, nor has Google. None of these have. Not even Tesla, and nor has Bitcoin, and nor has Ethereum. They're all network effects and they're priced in the same way they're all exponential in nature which we can't get our heads around until you put it on a log chart and it makes you calm down <laughs> so normally a scale would go like a bitcoin chart but because it starts really low it might start at ten dollars and then it's got to go up to sixty five thousand dollars so suddenly you're seeing a move a thousand dollar move um it looks small, but before it was big. So what happens is it squashes the chart because most of the price action has happened from, let's say, $10,000 to $65,000. So you keep getting this. It looks like this all the time. So what a log chart does is change the scale where it doubles every measure. So it goes $10, $100, or it goes 10x, let's say. $10, $100, $1,000, million. What that little trick does is smooth out all of this issue. Um, so you'll get comfortable when you look at it, just to realize that, and look at the scale, look how it's changed versus the other scale. And you'll see from that, it basically compresses all of this. It's the same as if you do use percentages. Because, you know, a 5,000 point move now in Bitcoin is not the same as a 5,000 point move when it was at 5,000. It would have been 100%. <laughs> and now it's not. That's like whatever it is today, 10%. So it's, it's, it's changing that. Um, and that, that really, really, really helps.